Hey, Kelly, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Absolutely excited to share a conversation with you because you are that person who doesn't stop at just one victory. You're always going out there to try something new, to share it with the world and to build things up. I, I do. I do try. I'm not always successful, but um, I'm always trying. Yes. But, but, you know, though, it's those moments where it is kind of a change or a challenge that, that I learn from that kind of stuff, because then then that next reason I say yes gives that open door policy. Well, uh, the thing is, when you've got a challenge, then then you have a reason and uh, any kind of a conflict uh is uh, is good for even theater. I mean, you can't have a good laugh without conflict, and you can't have a, a good serious moment without conflict. So, we all, we just keep soldiering on, all of us, and do the best we can. Well, even with the Giltmore girls, right there, there's your conflict. But but yet we keep on watching. We I mean, even in reruns and things, we just we we're still glued to this. I know. There's something about that show. It's just I, I'm so happy about that because uh, I thought it was a good show. I was really proud to be doing it because it was quality television. And the fact that it's lasted so long with so many fans is just amazing and del- delightful to me. Well, it always reminded me because I grew up with the Brady Bunch and shows like that. I always thought that this was uh-huh. the closest thing to our real life, a show like Gilmore Girls. You know, it wasn't a sitcom. It was it was just something that was really that uh, was a part of our lives. It was, and what what was doubly nice for me, uh, both as an actor and as a, a viewer, is that it, it had so much really clever humor in it, and yet, like you said, it wasn't a sitcom. We didn't have to sit around and wait for the laugh to clear to get on to the next scene. You just kept moving right along, and if you got it, you got it, and if you didn't, watch it over again. <laughs> You're from Colorado. I'm from Montana. What is it about those Rockies that teaches us to be very creative and expressive? I guess maybe it's just hiking up there. I, I heard about some people the other day that who are uh, East Coast people who wanted to go to the Rockies. I always wanted to see them, and they really went someplace high. And they said they were waking up at night because they couldn't breathe yep. at night. Now, we know it when we're walking up those mountains uh, trying to catch our breath. Even, I mean, Denver, Denver's a mile high to start with. Uh, so I had some advantage, but um, it's beautiful. Come on. The Rockies are just <laughs> incredible. Did you ever yeah. get over there to Elitch's and do those roller coasters? No. Oh, no. wait a minute. Elitch's? Yes, of course I did. Yes. <laughs> Elitch's. How do you how do you know that? Oh, because my sister lived in Denver, and so we used to escape to <sighs> Denver all the time. And oh my God, and we go down there to see a Broncos game? Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, I, I I went through a little period there with the roller coasters where with my little girlfriend and I we get off the roller coaster and go around and stand in line and we get on it again and we walked <laughs> we did it like eight times. And then we'd stop and maybe I don't know have, take the merry go around and then we go back and stand in line again. Oh, well, isn't that pretty much your career? You just keep getting back in line? <laughs> Good point. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. <laughs> Being a part of the Mrs. Maisel legacy, this show became a, such a huge part of my wife and I's life. I mean, it, it was the standard. We we had to be there every week. I felt the same way. And, you know, I didn't do all the shows, never was planning to. Um but I found myself looking forward to watching the shows I wasn't in. I mean, I, I'd watch all of them anyway, but I wanted to see what was happening next. And I, it just was just a, just a really good show, you know, good cast, good writing, uh, as I said, funny and then poignant at times. And it just kept moving along. I always felt that the more intelligent you were, the more you got out of it. Yeah, and it also taught us that, that quality does exist if you sit there and you're patient for it. And I and that's why I loved it about where we had to wait week by week because we because we we were so used to getting everything dumped on us at one time. This way, we had to have we had to have patience. It's true, and I and I think it is something to look forward to. I'm not exactly uh, someone who's likely to binge anything. I mean, it's a big deal if I watch two shows in a row, but I rarely even do that. I like to watch a show and let it uh, absorb it, as it were, and then go to the next thing instead yep. of just being inundated with all of this. Um, I, I yeah, I, I kind of like the old the old uh, schedule myself, but. This is a new world. I, I love the way that you included photographs in the book because, t- to me, photographs say so much. I can sit there and stare at a picture so long and, and just feel the emotion that is shared. 
Well, that was part of when, in putting this book together because I'd certainly never written a book uh, before. And uh, as we were working on it and, uh, you know, doing the, the real writing of it, I, you know, was in being in touch with the publishers and everything, I said, I want pictures in this book. When I read a, a biography of someone or, or a memoir, I want to see pictures. So I I was really kind of adamant about that. And uh, I, I, I agree with you. I just think it's important. Yeah, because there, there were many times that I would read something in the book and I would go back to the picture because I wanted to see the identity of the person that was sharing the story and instead of getting my own interpretation. Yeah, that's it. I mean, and you know what the people looked like at that time and, uh, you know, uh, and my favorite picture and they're talking about the Rockies mm -hmm. is that one uh, is I think it's right in, the, in the, the first part of the pictures is when I was about four or five years old and my brother and I were up in the Rockies uh, and he's standing. We're both standing next to a tree and he's holding a little American flag and I'm standing there leaning against the tree with my hand on my hip like a little <laughs> sassy girl. You know, I just love that picture. <laughs> You've got to come back to this show anytime in the future. Seven minutes with you is not enough time. Oh, thank you so much. I really enjoyed talking to you. I, yes, we had a lot of traffic coming into New York today, so everything kind of got pushed back, but it's my pleasure anytime. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? I shall. <laughs> thank you.